The Jewish state of Israel just had two amazing accomplishments in this war. First, taking out uh, top number two Hezbollah guy in Beirut, Lebanon. And the second thing is taking out a top Hamas guy in Tehran, Iran. Now, let's understand why these are two unbelievable feats. First of all, the world and the United States, the Biden administration is pressuring Israel not to go and attack uh, Iran, Lebanon, Hezbollah for what it's been doing to us. It's been Iran, Hezbollah, Lebanon, they've been shooting at us since October 8th, right? It's war. 80,000 Israeli citizens are evacuated from their homes from the up north. They can't live in their homes because Hezbollah is shooting at us every single day, injuring, killing, destroying. They just did the massacre of 12 Druze children up in the Golan Heights. Israel has every right to invade Lebanon and get rid of Hezbollah. But no, the world is pressuring us not to. And they were also pressuring us, don't you dare attack Beirut, right? So what did Israel do? It's actually a brilliant operation. They attacked the number two Hezbollah guy in Beirut. And it's, this also happens to be a guy who was responsible for the murder of 241 U.S. Marines back in the 1980s. So Israel sent a message to the Biden administration, to America, saying, you warned us not to attack Beirut. We attacked Beirut, but we took out a man that you have a $5 million bounty on his head. So don't you come complain to us that we attacked in Beirut. It was a targeted strike that took this evil guy out that America has been wanting to get for over 30 years, 40 years, and never did it. It wasn't ever successful. So that's strike number one, successful strike. Then we took out a head Hamas guy in Tehran, in Tehran. Iran, that's the capital of Iran. Meaning he's been hiding out and lives in Qatar. And I don't know why Israel hasn't taken him out in Qatar. But by taking him out in Tehran, because he just went there for whatever ceremony, Israel sent a message to Iran and to the world, like we're going to go after our enemies, even in Tehran. Meaning we have the intelligence on the ground to go after our enemies in Tehran, Iran, and in Beirut, Lebanon, all right? So unbelievable, powerful messages, uh, powerful messages. But here's the problem. We have 80,000 Israelis up north who can't return to their homes. Taking out number two Hezbollah guy in the middle of Beirut in a targeted attack is not gonna return our 80,000 Israelis to their homes up north. And I keep on saying this, they're not returning to their homes until they feel 100% secure that they will never be shot at again. And they will never, there will never be an October 7th like infiltration up north to massacre them in their homes, which means there is only one solution. Israel destroys Hezbollah in Lebanon and takes over the whole southern Lebanon, making it northern Israel up to the Litani River, which is the geographic border of that area. That's the only solution to allow Israelis to go back home. So while Israel's giving the message of, we just did a targeted strike in Beirut, we don't want war, that's the wrong message. Israel has every legal, moral, diplomatic right to go to war fully and invade southern Lebanon to destroy Hezbollah and take over southern Lebanon and making it Israel. That's the only solution that's going to end the terror from southern Lebanon and allow 80,000 Israeli Jews and non-Jews return to their homes. And in terms of taking out the Hamas guy in Tehran, same thing. Do you think Hamas is going to be deterred from using terror against us and surrender right now? No. All of their top people can be replaced. They've been doing it for years because Israel's been doing targeted strikes against head terrorists for years. They're always replaced. They're replaceable by other heinous, evil terrorists. The only way to allow Israelis to move back to their homes down south is Hamas has totally gotten rid of. There is no Arab self-rule in Gaza. Israel remains in Gaza forever, which includes resettling the Gaza Strip. So we have our military presence and civilian presence. And all those... Hamas supporters in Gaza, which is almost every single one of them. They're gone out of Gaza. 
the world pushes them out to immigrate to other countries because they supported the October 7th massacre. They were involved in the October 7th massacre. They celebrated the October 7th massacre. Civilians have their cap our captives in their homes in Gaza. They can't live there to be able to kill us and murder us and massacre us and infiltrate us ever again. That's the only solution for Gaza and the only solution for Lebanon. So while we say thank you to, to the heads of Israel and the heads of the IDF and the Air Force for these unbelievable strategic precision attacks that have given a strong message both to Hezbollah and to Iran and to the world and to Hamas and to America and the Biden administration that will do what we have to do to protect ourselves. We're still not doing what we have to do to protect ourselves. We have to go into Hezbollah. We have to go into southern Lebanon and destroy Hezbollah and remain there so that Hezbollah and Iran never are able to have a presence there to threaten Israelis again and remain and destroy Hamas in Gaza and remain there as well. So that's the message, both the good and the this didn't accomplish anything to allow us to end this war. It just pushed the buttons of our enemies a little more and give a little more strength to Israel on the world stage. So and strategically, it it was a good tactical move. Strategically, we still have to go full out in Hezbollah, in Lebanon, and full out in Gaza. That day will come despite our government saying, no, we don't want it. The day will come. The day will come. Am Yisrael Chai. We're in the right direction. It's taking longer than we want. We're going to make this happen. Everyone's going to return to their homes. We're going to be in southern Lebanon. We're going to be in Gaza because that is the only way to defeat, defeat our enemies and protect Israelis as well as be the strong front line for the whole freedom-loving world because this Marxist-Islamist revolution is out to destroy all of our countries. I'm Yisrael Chai from beautiful Israel. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.